Hello, this is the part number 7 of our series of videos uh, making your first phaser game. I'm following a tutorial made by Richard Davy, the author of Phaser. You can find this tutorial in the Phaser website, it is here in the screen. And I'm following this tutorial for making the game, but with Phaser Editor 2D. In Phaser Editor 2D, we sometimes you can do the things a, a slight different and uh, this difference sometimes is an advantage I think so I want to show you how to make it with the editor so in this chapter uh, we are going to add the keyboard controls for moving for moving the chapter the, the character for moving the player with the cursor keys <coughs> Here we see in the tutorial, first with the keyboard manager, the input plugin has a keyboard manager. You can create the cursor keys with the cursor keys, create cursor keys method. You can create an object uh, that you with the left key, up key, right key, down key. You can later test if the key is down or is up in this case. Uh, in the update method, the update method of, of the scene is an uh, update is a, a special method that is uh, executed uh, at every tick of the game. The game has a loop uh, at every tick at certain moments. Uh, this loop called the update method of the scene. So you can assume it is executed is a method that is executing all the time in your game. So in this method, you check if the left key is down, it will it will set the velocity of the player to moving to the left, to the minus 160 velocity to the left. It means uh, pixels by seconds. And it plays the left animation. In a previous video, I show you how you can create this animation, these sprite animations with the animation editor. If the right key is down, then it moves the player to the right and plays the right animation. And if no key is down, if the left key and the right key are not down, then it will stop moving the, the player in the horizontal direction and we play the turn animation so at the end it checks if the up key is down and the player body is touching down then it will jump it means it will set a velocity in the vertical direction so this is basically what we are going to make in this tutorial i recommend you to read all these texts here explaining how the author of Phaser make this makes this. So let's see in the Phaser editor 2D how we are going to do this is pretty similar to what is written here. We have the editor here, we have the game running here, and Visual Studio Code for coding our game running the development server of webpack so the first in the editor here first look here in code in the tutorial you can create the cursor keys with this with this helper method but in the editor we are going to add the keys to the send we have here in the put folder in the blocks you have a keyboard key object that you can add to the sun and you for example let's say this is the left key and we are going to say the let the, the set the the code the key code let's look for left it means the left key we add another key the right key with the right code key code and the up key. Those are the key. Mm. 
look you can select here any key code this has a list of the key codes supported by phaser that's good for selecting the key code you want this is the up code let's for the up good so we have here in the input folder we have all the keys i defend all this key by default is set with a scope to the class so you can it is declared declared defined here as a class fields so we are going to write our update method and check same with it here it's pretty similar if the left is down if the left key is down okay the player we don't have the player here why because we have to set the player the scope of the player i'm going to see the scope of the player it be class it will generate a player field okay i will say if the, if the player said velocity x run play we left animation i want to show you something here remember we did the animations in the animations file we have all the animations the left the turn and the right but if you have a lot of animations here and they have uh, names uh, long names i recommend you to say the animations compiler to generate the code in this case typescript es model that it is what we are going to use and output look what this is going to happen here in the sense i want to output the animations constants this will compile the animations contents constants here look animation left will be left animation term in this way in this way you can use here oh, sorry you can use here the constants generated by the animations editor animation left is there it adds it include this remember you have to use the import in this section because if you write it in another place like this one it will be lost when you compile again the scene the scene so you have to add the import between these two comments okay we have played animation left else if this punto if this the right key is down player set velocity x 100 and this player play animation right right animation let's see here else to the left to the right start moving horizontally set velocity x zero and A turn animation. Hmm. Look here. When you play an animation, you have to set here that 
ignore if playing yes i want to ignore it if playing because maybe you are moving to the left and you are not going to start playing it again at every tick so you will you want to ignore it when it is if the animation if it is running the left animation i do not want to run it again just ignore it ignore it good so here if is going to up if the up key is down and this player body is touching down then i will say the player to set with a vertical velocity i don't remember how much is it let me check minus to going up um that's all that's all that's it let's test if this is right let me see okay working that's working look here i'm pressing the up key if it is in the air if it is not touching down it will not jump again it only jumps when it is touching the platforms so we have here our character movie finally we have some action here in the game i can stay one hour playing this because it's very easy i think it's uh, that's it for now follow this channel like this video tell me something in the comments and keep in contact see you